So here's how you find the equation in standard form of the parabola that passes through these three points. Well, first off, the equation of any parabola just generally is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So what we do in this case is uh, plug in those three points so we're going to end up with three equations. And we want to find these values. We want to find a, b, and c. So I'm going to start with this first point, which is negative 4 and 3, and plug it in because this goes x, y. So I'll plug that in for x and y. And so you would have 3 equals um, a times negative 4 squared plus b times negative 4 plus c for your first equation. Then you do it again for the second, um, second set of points. So negative 1 and negative 6. And you'd have negative 6 equals a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. And then you do it for the third point, the 310. And so we'd have for a third equation, 10 equals a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. Okay. So once you have that done, you would simplify those three equations so it's not so messy looking. And so the top equation, I'll rewrite that here, would be 3 times, uh, or equals, negative 4 squared is 16, so that'd be 16a, and then minus 4b plus c. Your second equation would be negative 6 equals 1a, so I'll just leave it a, because negative 1 squared is 1, minus b plus c. And your third equation is 10 equals 9a plus 3b plus c. Wow. So once you get to this point, we, I'm going to use elimination. So I'm going to eliminate one of my variables. And the easiest one in, in this particular situation to eliminate, I think, would be the c. So I'm going to eliminate the c off of two equations. And it doesn't matter which two you compare. I'm going to go ahead and compare the first two and then, I don't know, the bottom two. So, um, so I'm going to eliminate the C on the first two equations and the bottom two equations. So what you do is I'm going to rewrite that top equation equals 16A minus 4B plus C. Um, this is negative 6 equals A minus B plus C. And in order to eliminate the C's off of those two, two equations, I'm going to have to have, I want to add down, Well, and the C's have to eliminate. Well, right now you'd have 2C if you added down. We don't want that. We want 0. So you just change your signs on one of the equations. I'll do it to the bottom one. So you'd have plus, minus, plus, minus. And so you'd have 9 equals 15A minus 3B and the C's eliminate. Okay, and so we'll kind of keep that in the back burner for now. So we're going to use that a little bit later. So the next one is to compare your bottom two equations. So I'll do that right here. So I'll rewrite it. Negative 6 equals A minus B plus C. And 10 equals 9A plus 3B plus C. And again, the same thing. We're going to have to change our signs. So I'm going to do it to the top equation because I don't like the negative 6. So plus, minus, plus, minus. And when you add down, C's are gone. You'd have 4B uh, plus 8A equals 16. So once you have these two equations, we've got one of the variables gone. We need to eliminate another variable. So I'm going to take these two equations and eliminate either the A or the B. I haven't decided which yet. Um, there's 16 equals 8a. I have no idea which one would be easier. Let me look here. One thing that would make this a little easier is notice on this bottom equation, we've got 16, 8, 16, 8, and 4. We could reduce that just to make the math easier for us. So I'm going to divide everything by 4 first. So let me erase that and change it. So if I take 4 out of that thing, you'd have uh, 
uh, 4 equals 2a plus b. So that's this bottom equation simplified. So that makes the math a lot simpler to do. And you won't make as many mistakes if you do that. So um, I'm going to match up my b's now and eliminate them. So I need to multiply this bottom equation by 3. And so I'm going to rewrite my top equation. So 9 equals 15a minus 3b. And you wouldn't have to do this, but I'm just showing all of my work. So I don't leave anything to question. And then the bottom equation is 12 equals 6a plus 3b. And now we're ready to eliminate. So you just add down. Well, that's 0. So that's gone. And then 9 and 12, um, looks like 9, 10, 11, 21 equals 21a. Because 6 and 5 is 11. Yep, so 21. So we know a then has to be 1. Once you have an answer, now you just work backwards. Um, so we know a is 1. So I'm going to plug a into this equation right here. What? So now that we know a is 1, and I'm going to plug it into that 4 equals 2a plus b equation. Um, so a would be 1, so you'd have 4 equals 2 times 1 plus b. Solve that thing, and you'd have 4 minus, so you have 4 equals 2 plus b. So you subtract 2 just to show my work. And b is equal to 2. Okay. Once you have two equations, or two variables figured out, now you've got to go to one of your very original equations. So I'm going to go to my top one, which is 3, this one here on the top. 3 equals 16a minus 4b plus c. So 3 equals 16a, and I already forgot it, <laughs> minus 4b plus c, minus 4b plus c. And so what we'd have is 3 equals 16 times 1 minus 4 times 2 plus c. And so 3 equals 16 minus 8 plus c. So 3 equals 8 plus c minus the 8. And c equals negative 5. And so now we have, with these three coefficients, they're called, we can fill in our equation. Our original equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We now know what that model looks like. It is y equals 1x squared plus 2, I think it was 2. Yep, b was 2. 2x plus a negative 5, or minus 5, doesn't matter. And there's your model. And hope this helps, and see you next time.